Clothes maketh the man. Hmm? Clothes maketh the man. The hat, dude. The hat always made you look like a prick. Now it's actually turning you into a prick. Mm. Four times in the last two days, you blanked me in the street. Mm. Yesterday, I practically waved in your face. You looked straight through me like I mm. wasn't there. Mm. We gotta get the hat off you, man. It's got some kind of gnarly power. It's Satan's hat. You were wearing Satan's hat. Mm. I'm gonna get a coffee. I hear it's fucking mm. good. Mm -mm. Is it okay if I join you for coffee? Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dropey dog. Mm. Droopy dog, I just saw you out in the street, walking the other way, but here you are. Mm. Hold on. This coffee is at least 17 minutes old. I'd say more like 20. How the hell did you do that? Is that your first cup? Mm. Mm. Weird. Did Droopy dog wear a derby? Mm -hmm. Did Droopy dog wear a derby? The MGM character Droopy dog, who despite a sloth-like demeanor from which he derived his name, used to possess the ability to move at inexplicable speeds? Yeah, him. No, I don't think so. Although I didn't know Mussolini wore a derby either until recently. Usually a shock of inexplicable orange hair, occasionally a trilby or fedora when they did a Bogart parody. Mussolini did Bogart parodies? No, Droopy Dog did. Why do you ask? Why do you know? Why would you ask me if you didn't think I knew? Good point. Well made. I was wondering, because this guy doesn't look very lively, does he? But I just saw him outside, and then boom, here he is. Test the coffee. What? Uh, test the coffee. Hmm. Somewhere between 17 and 20 minutes? Exactly. He claims it isn't his first cup. Droopy Dog. Now, I think you may be under a misapprehension about Droopy. He was quick, supernaturally quick, but it wasn't a time traveler. Saying he's a time traveler? No, if he was a time traveler, he'd probably go back to an era where everyone dressed like tits. There's gotta be something else going on. Did you talk to him in the street? Kind of. I yelled, hey, fuck face. Everyone else turned around. I think it made a little girl cry. He just kept on walking. In what direction was he headed? I don't know, north, northwest? Weird. You don't have a twin, do you? just looked in the window, but that's not possible, right? Not even for Droopy. We gotta find this man. We gotta be absolutely sure about this. How does that help? Just overexcited. Hey, is that my coffee? Mm -hmm. This is probably the weirdest thing to happen since Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. Are you coming, Bernard? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's find this guy. It might be like the Matrix Reloaded. Or it might turn out to be good. <laughs> Sorry, wrong man. Who the hell are you, Annie Hall? What are you doing with my friend's hat? He's got the same face and you're worried about the hat? Hmm? Holy shit, it's him. We got a little carried away. We could use your help. You don't know a way of disposing of things you shouldn't have. Piss off. Yeah, I'd like to. Really would like to oblige you on that, Bernard. But this is kind of important. Think of the most important thing you can think of, then double and it. And then double it again. And stop doing arithmetic and just fucking help us. Could have sworn I told you to piss off. Really, really important. Isn't. We could go to jail. For a long time. Good. Maybe then I'll be able to finish my book. She's not gonna help. We're gonna have to be droopy. Not what I meant. See you guys later. I don't know, which one looks worse on you, the hat or the face? Here, have a read. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. <laughs>